Welcome to All Game Plus, and today we're looking at uh, the Sony PlayStation 1, which is the 20th anniversary of it. Originally started as a project with Philips and uh, Nintendo to make a CD add-on for the SNES. Um, how do we end up with the PlayStation? Well, um, Sony made some pretty cool sound chips for SNES cartridge games back in the day, and Nintendo noticed this, and so they approached Sony and Philips and said, you know, can you make a disk-based system for our SNES? And they did. Um, just before it was about to be relaunched, um, Nintendo looked at the, finally at the contract they had with Sony and noticed that Sony would get most of the royalties from any game sold on that system. And they said, uh, no, we don't like that. So, so Sony decided, okay, um, we'll take our, our research to Sega. And Sega said, basically, what do you know about making consoles? <laughs> so they said, oh, well, to spite you all, we'll make our own. And so they did, and this is what they came out with, which is the Sony PlayStation 1. And there's a Bubby version from, from the end. So um, this one was sold at the start of its life cycle. That, that was the one sold at the end of the life cycle. As most things, it got smaller. Um, also with the controller, I mean, um, had a bit of influence from previous controllers. But yeah, if you can, you have a look, you kind of chop those off. It's basically a SNES controller with handles. Um, but yeah, it evolved into this, which is much more familiar to people today, the yeah, DualShock. The DualShock, the two two thumbsticks, uh, which I think is one of the greatest things ever ever added to game yeah. controllers, personally. Um, and now, now they all have two thumbsticks, yeah. except the 3DS. So this controller it, it was pretty much unchanged, PS1, PS2, PS3, and has only slightly really changed for PS4. Now the, the PlayStation, it was wildly successful, 155 mm -hmm. million units, so they're about sold Massive so amount. Um, it, it's... Uh, Part of that reason was the games. Um, the games. Now, the games were, were more grown up than what people had grown up with Sonic and, and Mario. But now we had Resident Evil, Resident Evil, <laughs> yeah. Silent Hill, um, uh, uh, games with attitude like Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Abe, uh, Gran Turismo. Which yeah, was which a, is an iteration of a kind of a, a kid's game, but in a more adult way with simulation like you can tune your car to the nth degree in those kind of very games. enthusiast sort yeah. of focused um and so, so games were going for a market that that sony had obviously felt was was ready to move on to, to something a little and bit before more. they were launched they actually focused on um researching that market and thought that you know kids have grown up with nintendo and sega now that they're adults how about we focus on them as adults rather than as the kids' games on, on those two previous systems? And they did well. It very. Um, and now, the other thing that, that helped them a lot was, um, let's be honest about it, piracy. Um, piracy. Now, <laughs> there, there was a time when you'd go to a PC swap meet and there'd be computer stuff everywhere, and all of a sudden there were mod chippers everywhere. Um, now, yeah. Sony went to court to try and stop it. There's a lot of battles over it, but they could be used to play import games and that was how they had the and loophole And that's because it. it was on a CD based system and CDs was so easy to copy back then. And a lot of people who probably would never have bought a console uh, considered it because compared to $100 a game to some of the stuff that was going on at the time, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, I think that's why the numbers went from really, really good to, to spectacularly good. Yeah. Um, now the CD had, had benefits though. Um, yes. And Square and Enix. Yeah, um, Square and Enix you were almost exclusive developers for Nintendo at the time and they were actually developing games while Sony and Philips were helping to develop the add-on, um, the CD add-on for the SNES. And they were developing their games with th that in mind. So, you know, we don't have cartridge size storage anymore, we have CD worth um, storage now. But when Nintendo said, no, we're not going to go with a disk based system, well, Square and Enix jumped ship and went to Sony. That was big news. Now, that was if, big news. If, if Twitter and that were around then, yeah. um, <laughs> it would have made everything going on would've now exploded. look like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so it would have, hey, it would have broken the internet, as yeah, would like to say. Back, <laughs> so, yeah, back then it would have. Uh, those giant news. Um, so the CD storage really helped um, give a lot more to the games, a lot more textures, a lot more a lot more sound. You didn't have to compress everything to fit on a cartridge. And, and games could be as big as they wanted. Like Final Fantasy IX and VIII were four discs. Metal Gear Solid was two discs. They could, you know, just add another disc, it's like two cartridges. That's weird. Yeah. Multiple discs. That's that's fine. So it's really a console that shook things up. And yeah. It went. It uh, started as 3D. Uh, they knew that was coming. They knew that was the future. Yeah. Uh, Sony outplayed everybody during yeah. that generation. Marketing, marketing and business wise, they just they 
Yeah, their price everyone... drops were just trolling Sega, especially. Um, they saw they pretty much saw the saw Sega damaged so much that they'd be out of the console market yep. in the next generation. Um, it was like watching a football team just not fumble the ball all day. The ball yep. bounced their direction. It was just. It was almost painful to watch how good they were um, at that. Just Considering start it sold to finish. 155 million, and its competitor at the time from Sega, the Sega Saturn, sold nine and a half million. Now you make me cry. Um, I'm sorry. But, but yes. Um, so it really did leave a, a. It left a lot of impact on the video game industry. With um, its damage to Sega, its its franchises that it started that that are still, still going now, today. Most yeah. of them. Um, uh, Tekken, uh, Ridge Racer, Metal Gear Solid, um, some really big ones. And the nostalgia it's got, like you can still play a PS1 game on a PS1, a PS2 and a PS3 and today. And a PlayStation Portable. Um, so yeah, look, one of the most, well, probably the most, we'll go for there, the, the most, most influential influential. console uh, that has come out that, that, that we've seen. Um, it really was a, a massive juggernaut of a, of a game of a changer. Thing. Yep. Literally a game changer. Um, so yeah, 20 years of the uh, PlayStation. Man, happy birthday. Happy birthday.